All right, this is the legit difficult problem. I love this one because it's just needlessly cruel. Um, so we have a red buggy and a blue buggy, and they're going to hit each other. And so let's go ahead and actually write this down. So the equation for the blue buggy looks like this. Um, its speed was measured to be 40.0 centimeters per second. So its equation is 40.0 times t plus zero. And then for the red buggy, its position is given by negative 20.0 times t plus 200 with a little decimal point. Now here's the thing. We're going to actually figure out when and where these buggies hit. So when they hit, that means they are in the same place at the same time. And of course, you know, in algebra, same means equal. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these two position equations equal to each other. So we're going to say 40 times t equals negative 20 times t plus 200. And when we actually simplify this, we're going to get that 60 times t equals 200. And so our time is going to work out to be 3.33 seconds. And when we go back and plug that into any of our position formulas, we're going to get that S is 40.0 times 3.33. And that'll actually give us a final position of 133 with a little decimal point centimeters. All right, so let's go ahead and actually go to the next page. So here's where they collide. If I draw two rulers, um, I would draw here and here. Whoops. So one, whoops. I draw a ruler here. And then what I do is I would actually make a copy of it. You can't do that. I can do that because I have the magic of the computer. Zero, 100, 200. And I would say, here, that's where they hit, at about 133. Now on to question 8 with the graphing. Let's go ahead and label our graph. So we'll have here. I'll label this as, so we'll go up by increment of 20. So this will be 40, 80, 120, 160, and 200. Awesome. Now for my time, um, since I know they collide at 3.33 seconds, I'm going to label this as 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, and 4 seconds. So I've got these labeled here. Sorry for this bad lines here. And I've got them labeled. Now, um, the red car starts at zero, uh, the blue car starts at zero, and every second it goes up 40. Like this. So I can draw that line right there. And then for the red car, it starts at 200, and every second it goes back 20. like that. So then we draw our intersection and it happens at about 3.33 and 133. So just like we predicted, as predicted by algebra. So that's our answer to number, well, the very last couple pages. So that's our first homework um, related to physics in IB physics.